crazy budget shot. A lot of non-Muslim people think it's just a scarf for Muslim women without realizing the actual Quranic context of modesty and whether a scarf is what counts as modesty. Um, and then within the Muslim community, I think I would encourage folks to learn about hijab as an idea of modesty for both men and women as opposed to just women. Hijab means barrier. Even though I don't do the hijab, I'm actually, I've been, I guess, progressively becoming more and more modest in the way I dress. So I consider that my hijab. Wearing my scarf does affect my day. I've worn my scarf since I was little because I just grew up like that. Some people um, ask me like, if not just because I'm Muslim, but also because I'm Middle Eastern, do I still wear like a turban and ride on camels when I go over to visit family? Really stupid stuff like that. Stereotypical stuff just to get under my skin. It was on, um... Juma, it was on Friday, so I, had, I was like fully dressed and somebody referred to me as like Darth Vader because it was all black and it was like in the middle of the summertime. But I've gotten made fun of for wearing the scarf when I was younger because people just didn't know what it was. They didn't really have Muslim friends around. They usually look me up and down at least twice with suspicion. When I wear the scarf, people tend to frame everything around my religion as if my religion is the first part of me that they um, would want to address. I was angry because I was little. I didn't understand that they didn't know what the scarf was around someone's head. Part of why I stopped wearing the scarf is so I could be seen as a, a full person, so that my other identities could be um, not at the forefront, but be taken into account um, before my Muslim identity. I think my sister influenced me not to wear it, and I actually agreed with her, so it was my decision. I actually don't feel any pressure to wear a scarf. I've had my dad tell me that I should not wear a scarf if I'm not going to the mosque, which is the opposite. Um, I think the pressure from family actually comes from a non-Muslim family who kind of wishes that I wouldn't wear it around family or around their friends. I felt pressured to wear the scarf because I grew up wearing the scarf and once I stopped, like, I got, I got threatened. My experience with Muslim communities in Boston being so diverse, I've gotten so many mixed reactions from people who would say, I'm not Muslim enough um, and so I should wear the scarf to show uh, my Islam or I'm too Muslim and I put people off. The obstacles were really hard but I think that I got, I got pressured a lot but it made me stronger because I just pushed back and it was my decision so nobody could speak for me. I would definitely tell women that um, what's not right about getting pressured to wear a scarf or to not wear a scarf either ways is that scarf as much as it is a religious symbol is still a piece of cloth. Um, it's still just an article of clothing. It has nothing to do with what, what you really are. I guess my suggestion would be follow your heart. It's really something you will know. If you do it for any other reason other than what compels you to do it, I think you'll struggle with it. Overall, I would like to conclude that it doesn't matter if a piece of cloth is around your hair that makes you a Muslim. It's just what you believe in, and I think that they should stick to their decisions.